Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're at uh, Avis Toronto Pearson Airport. And let's take a quick look at uh, some of the cars they have available for rent. It's a little bit quieter here today. Uh, just a quick reminder, go ahead and click on that subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you wanna see more of these videos, give the video a quick like, appreciate it. Thanks for watching and we'll get started here. All right, this is kind of the preferred upgrade row with uh, Avis. We got a BMW X2, it looks like. Uh, Chrysler 300. Uh, Mustang, probably an EcoBoost, yeah, convertible. I like the wheels on that. Uh, oh, look at this. Okay, so we got a soft top Wrangler. These are pretty rare. I'm starting to see more of them, though. Uh, another EcoBoost uh, Mustang convertible. And we've got a Dodge Challenger GT. And the last two here are US cars, so these need to go back to the US. This is Mercedes C300. And this big uh, Yukon. Let's go back to the US. And let's take a look at some of the upgrades here. We got an X2. Uh, I got a larger, maybe like a CX9 Mazda. A couple more of these uh, Challengers. I need to rent one of these sometime here. I'll have to ask about them. Got an Audi Q3, Q5. Uh, 3 Series BMW. Well, it's another Challenger over there. A Mango one. All wheel drive. Sonata, got a Kia, smaller Kia, smaller Mitsubishi sedan, one of these GMC compact SUVs, an Audi Q3 probably. Uh, got a Nissan compact SUV, Challenger, GT, a couple smaller sedans. Uh, if we go down on the other side here, we got a couple SUVs, a little Escape. Uh, VW, I think these VWs are Jettas. And then there are these uh, smaller uh, BMW 2 Series. Chevy Blazer. Oh, I like that with the red line package. That looks nice with the black. And the black 300. And let's go through the other side. There's nothing really too exciting down there. There's some wipers up on a couple of boats. What do we got here? We've got a Malibu, probably an Acadia. We've got a Rogue. Chrysler 300 and a Camry straight ahead. Um, actually, you know, let's go down this side here first. Another Camry. Got a BMW. Uh, Corolla. We've got Cadillac. Probably an XT5 coming up. Chrysler 300. Ooh, another Gladiator. With black wheels on it. Bur I like that burgundy color. That looks really nice. Another BMW here. Subaru. I think those are Subaru Outbacks. i got to look up my Subarus. Oh, another soft top uh, Wrangler, eh? And we got a Hyundai at the end. We'll get to the SUVs in a bit. Another Mazda CX-9. A couple small sedans. And nothing too exciting down there. Let's let's keep it rolling over the SUVs here. All right, this is one of my favorites here. This is the Wrangler. Um, if you want to see inside those, go back. Uh, Look for the video Avis thumbnail that has the Wrangler on it. And I kind of did a quick video tour. I'd, I'd show you again, guys, but these are parked so tight here. It's kind of hard to squeeze in. Uh, Expedition. Man, that's nice. Everything's all blacked out, even the lettering. Uh, we got a Dodge Ram, all blacked out. Pickup truck, another Ram. Another Ram. Hemi. Uh, we got two uh, Sahara Wranglers, hard tops. Another Dodge Ram. I wonder if these Rams are new. They've got a bunch of them. Let's see. Yeah, this has got the blackout. Well, this has got the windows open, so let's see if we can... Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, this is kind of nice. What do we got for... Uh, okay, so almost uh, 3,000 kilometers, so 2,000 miles. Oh, this is one of the sport ones. Okay, so they, maybe this must be getting the sport ones, too. It's, I don't know if you can see, but it says sport on the, the dash. But it doesn't say it on the seats, though. That's kind of nice. Maybe you can see this a little bit better here. There's a bit of daylight coming in. Here's the bed. And the back seat. Window in the back. Okay, so it says sport on the back. There you go. Trailer hitch looks like. 4x4. Four four. Very nice. Uh, GMC Denali. 
Uh, are we going to be lucky that this is open? I don't know. It's, there's room on this. Oh, here you go, guys. Let's have a look. There, well, I like the trim on that. Very nice. It's a little on the dark side in here. Maybe I'll see if I can open up the other side, get everything to light up for you guys there. It's a little tight. Let me see if I can squeeze. I think this is a, yeah, there's another gladiator here. Let me see if I, oops, sorry. Yeah, windows are down on this. Let me see if I can maybe, oh, oh boy, I got a, sorry, I got a knapsack on here too. <laughs> Let me squeeze in. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so this one's got about 35,000 kilometers on it. Sorry, it's a bit dark in here. Some of these don't have the uh, interior lights coming on when I open up the doors. Right. One of these days, we'll have to maybe I'll have to rent one of these and give you guys a better look at one of them. And another Wagoneer kind of squeezed in here. Let's take a quick look at this. So the one I saw in the last video driving back had TV screens in the back. Now this has got the running boards on the side. Is this? Let's see if uh, maybe this one doesn't have the screens in it. Let's have a peek screens in it, but it sure looks nice inside. Okay, the interior, yeah, this is nice when the interior lights come on. You can see a little bit more of the Alpine stereo there. And, oh, that's a, oh, nope, the door handle's a little stiff. I thought it was locked. I think we thought that the other time, too. Uh, oh, wow, this one's got 8,000 on it already. Yeah, these are really, uh, really nice. Uh, shout out to, uh, Bradley's car reviews, I think, because uh, one of my subscribers. This, uh, if you're, uh, when you make it down to Avis in Toronto, this is this is what I would recommend. Uh, they got a couple of them sitting here. Um, I will go in. It's not as busy today. I will go in and see if uh, see if I can find out what class these are because they book full size SUV on the website. So let's see what uh, see if one of these will qualify for that. Uh, there you go. And we got another of these Dodge Ram. That's probably the Sport with a blackout trim. And all right, let's keep rolling here. Go down on the side of Avis Preferred here. We got another, wow, look at that. Three soft top Wranglers. These are all new. You know, let's check the mileage on these. This, you know, it looks, I don't know, something looks different about this with the soft top. 16,000 on it, kilometers, so about 10,000 miles. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's just the, uh, almost looks like a wider wheelbase here. Looks like the, uh, looks like it's longer. Okay. Uh, we've got a Center probably, another Challenger, we've got a Cadillac, probably an XT5, we've got a BMW. Uh, this one's a hard top. Wrangler. You know what it is? Yeah, the other, do the other ones have the glass? No, they have the body color on the end. Uh, Nissan. Uh, a couple of Mitsubishis. We got a Camry coming up here. And we got one of these Mango GT Challengers. And I definitely want to see if I can get one of those. I'm going to book something with Avis here. Okay, we got a couple more SUVs. We got an Explorer. And we got this Ram at the, uh, parked at the end here with the Chrome Gen. A couple uh, compact sedans here, probably an Altima, Kia, Mustang convertible here. And what do we got down here? We got a Kia. Uh, it looks like a BMW 5 Series. Oh, lights are out down here. Another BMW. Is this a 4Runner on the end, I think? Oh, sorry, Tacoma. GMC Denali. Got a Toyota Prius. Got a Kia. Camry. Another Toyota Prius. VW Golf. 
Elantra. Grand Cherokee. I like that Grand Cherokee color. The black oak trim. Another Grand Cherokee, another nice color. And I've got a Santa Fe. Brown. down the other side. A couple of SUVs, a Buick SUV, full size down there. Grand Cherokee, Laredo, looks a little bit older. A couple of Hyundais here, Mitsubishi. A couple of Mitsubishis, all right, let's just walk down here and wrap things up. Uh, just a quick reminder, guys, go ahead and click that subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you wanna see more of these videos, click on the uh, like button. We're getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers here. And we'll just walk down the end here, a couple more challengers. And you can see actually a lot of overflow at Avis too, so they're in good shape. These are actually Avis and Budget, same uh, company here. Wow, two more, lots of challengers, eh? All right, okay. Well, this one's not a GT. Oh, this one actually, has this one got adaptive cruise maybe? Yeah, it does. Okay, so this one's got a few more options on it. Sorry about that, guys. I already said goodbye pretty much, and now we're looking at this car. Okay, so dark. It's got the black oak trim. And... Yeah, I guess it's fairly similar. Yeah. All right. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.